Oh, welcome back to the Timeline Ranch. It's a beautiful morning, nice and calm, just the birds chirping in the distance. So today I'd like to talk about money at the Timeline Ranch because that's going to determine how soon I can open the ranch up for everyone to come out and see it in person and enjoy the nature out here. So I have a few avenues uh, to get income for the channel. I have a Buy Me A Coffee account. It's in the description of the channel. I also have an Amazon Affiliates account. There's a link on Amazon that will bring you to a Texas Wildflowers Field Guide. If you're not interested in that, just type in any item that you'd like in the search bar. And if you purchase it, a small portion will go to the channel and is appreciated. So also the channel was monetized here recently. Uh, I'm making a little bit of money off of the ad revenue that play on the videos as you watch. Uh, it's averaging a, a little bit over 50 cents a day. It's uh, nothing to brag about, but it's a start. So I'm thinking uh, after about $50 a day as an average through all three of those revenue potentials, I'm willing to roll the dice and stop working at my regular job and come out here and work full time at the ranch to greatly accelerate it. You know, if I've if you've been following the channel over time, you know that I have three to four weeks a year to come out here and work. And I've been working out here around nine years now. So that's 36 weeks. Everything you've seen that's been built here at the ranch. Of course, I wasn't filming the start, you know, because I didn't, didn't think about it at the time. But that's also including the travel. You know, two days is travel out of that 36 weeks times however many trips I was out here I think I'm up to like 37 or something trips some trips I come out you know just for two days like on a Labor Day weekend I can sneak out here and get two days at the ranch and haul some material in a trailer but if I could be out here all the time I could really speed this the build up to the place and get it to the point where People can come and, you know, I'll have accommodations for them. I plan on making some stone dome structures for anyone interested in coming out to the ranch to stay and, you know, enjoy the place. Of course, there will be a cost associated with that, just like any, you know, place that offers those accommodations. But that'll make it possible for me to stay out here and make this place happen. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Uh, you know, once I get to the point where I can be out here uh, at the $50 a day, you know, to work, I'll offer private stays where some people that are interested in coming to see the place while I'm building it when I don't have a whole bunch of accommodations. Uh, of course, there'll be a fee associated with that to help, you know, make ends meet until I get the channel built up where it can support the, the ranch. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Um, really like to get this place going a little faster than it's going now. And you know, I miss a lot of footage that I'm just not here to catch during the monsoonal season, which is June 15th to September 30th. I really don't get a lot of time to come out here. You know, I may get a week if I'm lucky to come out here, but that's that's when you catch the uh, almost intimidating monsoonal thunderstorms that come through. I haven't been able to catch the pond filling up except for once, and it was a nighttime rain, so it really wasn't that great of footage. And the pond wasn't nearly as big as it is now, so I really like to catch all those events. You know, every every month has something, another plant blooming or a different type of migratory bird or you know there's just a lot of myths that could be captured on film if I was here all the time so anyway that's my thoughts I uh, don't know what else to say about it we'll see how it works out I'll see you on the next one